Welcome, folks, to the last segment, Save the Best for Last, our prediction on Mikey Garcia versus Adrian Broner, um, which is, uh, from what I believe, where, where are they going to have this fight at? It's going to be on Barclays Center. Yeah, working on Barclays Center. Barclays on um, July 29th, which will be about two weeks from now. Um, this is a very tough fight for me to pick, very tough. I mean... Like I said in the video before, anyone who thinks this fight is even remotely one guy has the advantage of the other is a big mistake because, I mean, both of them, like, sometimes I think Adrian Broner has the edge on this fight, sometimes I think Mikey Garcia has the edge on this fight. Um, it's just such, it's such a hard fight because they both have very good attributes. Um, obviously, Broner's been tested and, you know, uh, Broner's got a great chin. Mm -hmm. um, Mikey Garcia's got a lot of power. Um... Obviously, Mikey Garcia has been inactive for a little bit with his whole dispute with top rank. Um, and um, obviously, I feel that Adrian Broner has fought the better opponents. But has he looked well against those opponents? I mean, and the other thing, too, I also think is that Adrian Broner, the losses that he has are 47, which are to Sean Porter and to Marcos Maidana. The Marcus, the Marcus Maidana loss, obviously, that's a fight. And I remember, I don't know if you remember when the fight happened. It's a fight that he shouldn't have took. I remember, I was thinking at the time, like, why would he fight Maidana? I know, was, he, I think he, believe he fought the fight right after he fought, um, uh, he took it from uh, Malinaji. Yeah, it was for the, uh, the Walterweight title. And then, yeah, right after he fought uh, Maidana. It says here it was June, he fought uh, 2013 Malinaji. And then in uh, December, he fought Maidana, which is a fight. I felt that maybe he had the wrong people around him, but right. he made it out of that fight. But that was a fight at 47, and the Sean Porter fight was a fight at 47. Um, but those fights, and like I said, the uh, the the uh, the other fight with Malinaji at 47. Personally, I feel that Paulie Malinaji won that fight. Um, he basically put out more work. Obviously, you know Malinaji didn't have the power, but he 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 outworked him. He threw more punches, more jabs, and I felt that that Malinaji won that fight. So. When I see Broner's fought the better opponents, um, was it three division champion in this case four, four, I mean, four. four division 47, 40, 35, 30. Um, has he fought better opponents? Yes. Has he won under, against all his opponents? No. Um, things about Broner. So the, so the naked eye looks like he's a very mobile fighter. He's not. From what I've seen about Broner, he he can move around the ring, but for him to set up combination punches. He, he needs to sit. If you ever noticed that when he, whenever Broner throws a lot of combination, he sits. He's like he sit, Yeah, he sits on the shot. Ah, he throws the shots and then he moves around. He can move on the move, throw his jab. But when it comes to setting up all those combinations, or even you know throw multiple punches, he, he very seldom does he do it on the move. Um, Mikey Garcia. Now, Mikey Garcia is a fighter that you can't compare him to Granados. You can't compare him to to Maidana, or you can't compare him to to uh, uh, Porter. To Porter because different style. Yeah, Mikey Garcia is not a volume puncher. Mikey Garcia is more of a patient stalker. He, he basically has a lot of power, unloads are necessary, and it sets up the shots and, and, and pretty much does his damage. But he, it's not like he's out there to outwork you on punches. The way I see this fight playing out, as far as stylistically, when they're in the ring, I see as far as, um, uh, you know, obviously, I, I, I see Mikey Garcia, obviously, he's going to be the smaller guy. For as much as people want to give Mikey Garcia all the power he has, and Broner, that, you know, he has no power, I see Broner being the guy walking down from Garcia, and Garcia using his back foot, moving around the ring, and um, I see it just being a matter of combination punches. Who has, who wins the better of the exchanges? That's all the way I see the fight. They're going to move around the ring. Mikey Garcia, or whether it be Broner, they, they're going to initiate the punches. Whoever wins the combinations, wins that part, and they'll just do that throughout the fight. Um, what I don't know if, is, A, will Broner be able to handle all of uh, Garcia's power punches? Um, obviously, it's a chin, but the weight is a factor as well. Um, but um, it's hard for me to pick this fight. How do you see it playing out? Or what do you see in both fighters that can give you an indication as to who may win this fight? I, I agree with you. It's a, it's a tough fight. I, I, I'll piggyback on, on what you have said. I think uh, uh, Garcia is a completely different style. Um, also, Garcia is a smaller guy. The only advantage is that I, I know for sure Brown is going to um, struggle to make the 140 pound. He had 
showing before. Garcia's not even struggling to make the you know, He's, he's training for the he's, fight because he's, he's been, was he, 135? Yeah, yeah, 135. So he's, he's, his thing is he didn't have to sacrifice a lot. So think about it. Broner's going to be the bigger fu fighter at, at the night of the fight. Um, and maybe, I, 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 if I see Garcia attacking the body early in the rounds, and uh, setting up the pace and, and fighting his style. I, I, I could see Garcia edging it, but it, it's a fight that if it's close, it could go either way. Um, it's gonna be, like you said, a, a real tough fight. Um, I, I, me personally, I would edge more to Garcia for the discipline. But this is a, it's like you said, this fight you cannot compare uh, guys like 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 uh, Madonna's or Granados. Yeah. It's a different, complete style. Duh. Because you made a great Garcia, Garcia has more of like a Triple G type style, like just pressure fighter, walk you down, pop, 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 and set up your shots. You, uh, uh, you created, you made a, a great statement. Um, my, my Donna will, will come in and, and put you pressure. Um, and guys like and guys like Broner and Garcia, that, that they, they, they set up in certain precision, so offload. And when you are uh, erupting that, 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 set, that um, not allowing them to set up is, is it confused them so basically uh guy guys like Maidana and, and, and Porter and that, like, that are basically physically guys that that will come up to you and, and be all on top of you it, it's, it's difficult to unload uh like, as, as you usually do um and if you saw on the last round versus Porter Porter just st stand there and you can easily see uh, Broner clipping him. It was it, for me. It was like a flash knockdown. Yeah, and nothing. But, uh, Porter was on his feet. He was bouncing. But keep yeah. continuing. So, uh, me personally, I, I I think due to discipline, due to uh, uh, mental, the mental yeah. discipline. Like Mikey Garcia hasn't tasted the feet. He's been knocked down by uh, what was Roman uh, uh, Roman Martinez. Yeah, Roman Martinez. He's been knocked down, but he hasn't really faced the feet mentally. He's a guy who's very disciplined in his craft. Broner, on the other hand, has been knocked down, has lost several fights, um, has been in controversial fights, struggles to make way, is not disciplined outside of the, the gym. Uh, he's the more talented fighter as far as skills. As far as who has better speed, I, I wouldn't be surprised to say Broner. More speed. Who has the power? Uh, Mikey Garcia. Chins, they both got chins. Um, they're both very good boxers. As far as boxing IQ, they both have it. Um, I really think it's a matter of who is the exchange. I wouldn't be surprised if this, this is like a very, I see it very competitive, but I could see it being a very like, you know, a fight. This is an even fight. It, it could be a rematch on this fight, the, honestly. So the fight, you gotta give it to the, the guy who had, who, who, who have less uh, wrinkles on his game. And it, it, it's good, uh, Mikey Garcia. Uh, I think that Broner, he's a great guy, but basically he doesn't, he doesn't uh, apply himself as he used to, like even the whole weight situation. Uh, uh, but what you do between fights, you know, gaining all that weight, losing it, uh, going on tour, wrapping around, messing around, Put going, a to jail, out. <laughs> going to jail, getting busted for DUI, for getting yeah, in the shootout, they stop shootout. him, and he's got like bullets in his car. Basically, you know, and, and, and that's why in an even fight like that, you gotta see who, who's doing the wrong things and and just take that guy, guy out, out of the picture and having. I think uh, Garcia wins a. Uh, uh, a close decision, or maybe, maybe I can see Garcia dropping him at, uh, at a point. Maybe I don't see him knocking him out. No. but I do see him. Not, got a chin. Yeah, if, if, if I see. Didn't include yeah, knock him out. I, I don't see the kid got a chin. Yeah, I see. Um, I see it going to a decision. I see him more. Than, I wouldn't be surprised if Mikey Garcia gets dropped. Like I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if both fighters get dropped at some point in the fight. But overall, that's to some tally. And like I said, some days I'm feeling like Rona. Some days I feel like Garcia could win, but well, it's like you said, based on that, I feel just the mental edge, which is very important. Forget physicality, forget the weight, forget the skill and all that. Just mental, who has a better chance of breaking down the other guy mentally? I feel that, that Garcia stands a better chance of, of breaking down um, Broner mentally. And other thing too, this is one thing I want to spot. A lot of people online like, oh, if Broner doesn't win this fight, his career is done. It's bullshit. I honestly think if Broner puts a great fight, even though a loss, it'll set him up for better fights. For Broner, and yeah, I think it's yeah. a lot to ask of people. We're not looking for him to freaking beat people all of this because there's a lot of pressure on that. You know, I think this is the same guy who's posting online that he wants to kill himself. You can't expect that from him. Even if he loses, you got to be able to tell, hey, Broner, you did a great job. 
you did really well, um, much success to you, and just keep going, because that's really all you can ask in a fight. And they don't, it's not that you want to win, you want them to give their all when they fight. And they, you know in your heart of hearts, if they went in there and they gave it 100%, even in defeat, that puts you in a better position to fight someone else. Yeah, basically, so. uh, and you, you can say, yeah, I couldn't, you could blame it on the weight if you lose, you know. And he could always go, that's what I'm saying, he's at 40, I think he belongs at 40, but. Bono is fighting like a catch plates, I guess. Instead yeah, of fighting yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, he, he's he's getting older, and within time, he eventually is gonna end up being a one a hundred forty seven pounder. So basically, he could fight uh, Garcia now, and he, if because we, we are uh, um, uh, thinking that he he might lose, but it could, he could also win. But let's say if he lose, you know, he could um, by that time, you know, it's probably gonna be six eight months from now. He, he go he could fight uh, Luis Colazo or. You know, uh, 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 Sammy Vasquez, somebody that uh, that is is not up there, but you know, somebody that can keep him active um, and and move slowly within the division. I, I think that that's a problem with a lot of boxers that that want to stay up there. Uh, like like uh, I always I always mention um, Gabe Rosado, that always go getting tough fight after, after tough after, fight after tough fight. It's not good for you. So I, I think you know, take a couple a couple light fights at, at, at Walter Wade. And um, and take it from there. See 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 where it takes you. But uh, I don't think it's gonna be a, it's done either. You know, I think just it's all about decision making and going back to the drawing board. But um, uh, so how, how do you have it then? D definitely, like I said, I I, I think uh, Mikey will edge it. It's gonna be a tough by fight decision. for both of them. By decision, unanimous the split. Um, I'll say majority decision. Uh, uh, Mikey Garcia. Majority. I have as of right now, based on what you said and me thinking with you know not my heart. Mind. I have Mikey Garcia winning um, by decision, not unanimous. I see it as a split decision victory. So you have a majority decision, split decision. So that's about it. Uh, any further thoughts before we go? Nah, man. Um, uh, like I said, we always say, uh, say to you guys, thank you for the support. Follow us on the Instagram, uh, Boxing Rampage. We appreciate the support, the love, the, the likes, the views. Um, and uh, like, hey, we're here to learn with you guys. Uh, we, we enjoy boxing. We love the sport. Um, and we keep you updated with boxing, I guess. All right. That's it. Boxing Rampage. See you next time. Out.